Oh, well, here we go. I start to try to light this before we start, so sometimes it takes a while to light. Anyway, uh, there we go. Incense. This is citronella. I don't know why I need it. It's raining. <laughs> the mosquitoes are not. Actually, mosquitoes don't come out here in the morning. Don't come here. Drink, some water. Drink a little water here. It's it's raining. Uh, it's raining. And because it's raining, I didn't go for my walk. But this is interesting. Coconut water. I'm the only one that drinks out of this. And did I... There's a thing called backwash. Now, I learned it from working on The Sopranos. It was in the script. You know, uh, the kid, AJ, he's with his buddies and they're, and they're drinking out of soda pop. Well, I said, I said soda pop. Well, a soda bottle, you know. And, uh, and then somebody says, backwash. I said, what the hell is that? And it means that, you know, when you do like that, there's some spit left in it, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, uh, well, let me tell you this part. I'm going to talk about Instagram and something else. So I have this whole thing these days. I'm going like, people are all up in the backwash, you know. Uh, somebody does something and then people keep on reacting to it, reacting to it. And they're, they're, they're not even um, uh, researching, going into the deep, deep, deep where this thing comes from. So they're really getting the backwash of somebody else. You know, everybody's drinking out this, everybody's passing around the information. By the time it gets you, you know, the telephone game is all diluted, it's all backwashed. <laughs> so you're actually drinking the knowledge that you're they're coming in with is like backwash. <laughs> That's my theory. Um, and to, to point it, to, to show you what I, not to show you what I mean, but uh, I just want to, I'm going to do the Instagram, but I want to read this thing first before the Instagram, because, you know, this is the making up right here. This is where we, you know, we talk about stuff, you know. Before we post up, because Instagram is supposed to be instant, boom, 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 you know, just, just the facts, <laughs> ma'am. <laughs> that kind of thing, I had to watch it, because it's raining. So because it was raining, you know, some things happen because they're supposed to happen. I call this uh, a, 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 a situation where, well, basically, I don't need to, um, I'm taking a day off. Of, of walking, let's put it that way. And it's, it came naturally because it's raining, so I'm not gonna walk in the rain. I, well, because I don't feel like it. <laughs> so so, so I naturally take a day off. Periodically, you should be taking days off anyway, whatever it is, you know, sometimes a whole week, you know, like that. So that's, that, that's what's going on. So I didn't take my walk this morning because it's raining. Put this thing back. But, oh, because it's raining, then I was, I was, you know, as you know, as you may know, I got a book on Ogun, and uh, Africa's Ogun, it's, it's, it's like a serious arrest. A bunch of people talk about Ogun. And because of that, like any new book, I, I'm, I peruse first, you know? I look around, you know, sometimes that's usually I stuff in the back someplace, and I look around. And then, uh, and then what happens is after I peruse a bit, then, uh, uh, then I delve into some stuff like that. And with, with nonfiction books, which is nonfiction, or with essays and stuff like that, it's always great because it's like short stories, you know what I mean? Uh, you don't have to, you know, read it in some sort of order, you know, you just, it's a reference book like that. But there was something I'm reading, I'm going to read this to you now before I get into the Instagram. And of course, because I didn't walk, I'm not look, calculating the miles that I walked, it's one kilometer. Now, this is from uh, page 173, Bande Ajuwan. Uh, but Bande Ajuwan, this, this is chapter 8 of this book, uh, Africa's Ogun. And uh, Racha Ajuwan is the uh, author. Uh, it says, Ogun's e e e e moje, Ogun e e moje, uh, the philosophy of living and dying. Uh, this, this chapters about that. Maybe I should a little reparations flyer. Use this a bookmark. Uh, I should tell you something about the book. I don't know. Uh, maybe another time. Let me just, well, there's a lot of chapters. Uh, I'll tell you about the book another time. Uh, let's just, just, I just want to read this thing here real quick. Uh, no, 
not going to read the whole thing. It's just just a couple of couple of sentences. Uh, all traditions maintain that the god Ogun led four hundred and one Yoruba divinities um, when they descended to earth at Ife. Oh, that just okay at Ife. Uh, the exact location of where they were today, uh, uh, where they are today, not sure. These traditions also state that Ogun helped the divinities to survive in their initial settlement on earth and to effect harmony among themselves as they struggled with new and unforeseen circumstances. Ogun's ability to direct the various activities of the other divinities emanated from the philosophy that one must display courage and heroism in living and in dying while serving one's fellow man or one's fellow men. I want to stop right there. Because that's the crux of everything. Uh, first, I guess I should say, I'm a child of Ogun. How do I know this? I just know this. you you got to figure out what you are a child of. I'm not going to tell you how to do it. It's, it has to do with the, the Yoruba religion, the Yoruba culture. Um, and that perfectly says what Ogun's about, you know? Uh, because you're supposed to do stuff for... Ultimately, you're doing stuff for fellow men, your fellow man, fellow human, if you want to put that, the fellow human, right? And, uh, and Ogun's perfectly poised to do that kind of thing. So, I, so I, I, you know, as living and dying, it's like you've got to be whatever you got to be, that kind of thing, you know? So let me leave it there. I'm not going to go into this, this right now. Uh, another time I'll go into and go into a group. But, but I should say this one thing. Here's the thing. I think what 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 happens is when people when people uh, get a taste some sort of taste of power and they they're some sort of in some sort of position or whatever have you they want to protect their position right and in their protecting of their position they do what I call um, in fact you know let me do it that way let's just go let's just go and do the and do the Instagram and I can explain it well. I can ramble on at Instagram what this is all about, right? So let me let me do that, and that way we can uh, uh, we can uh, do this. Uh oh, wait a second. I think something's wrong. No, no, something's right. Okay, we're done. Why? Oh, adjust to see adjustments, adjustments, adjustments. Hey, Instagram, it's me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the train to Tibet. Yeah, a little different this morning because I didn't take my walk because it's raining, you know. And that's always a natural time just to, you know, take a break. So I'm taking a break from, from, from strenuous walking exercise. I'll be walking like five to ten miles a day, depending on what day, right? And we come up, we, I guess we come up to my, my eight mile day because Saturday is tomorrow, but this is Friday, so it's regular. They don't know about all that stuff. Um, but um, I was recently just uh, starting to read into my Ogun book that I just got. And uh, uh, quite interesting because I think what happens when people, when we uh, uh, indulge, and well, we, when we read or whatever it is, uh, we, we, we tend to uh, say, oh, well, I got this knowledge, and then we, we grab that knowledge, and then either we want to impart it some way, you know, somehow we, we distill it, you know? But this is why I don't like, I should not, this is why I have little, little appreciation for academia or for most of academia, okay? Not not all, but most of that. There's a few renegades out here that, that, that you'll listen to, but other than that, it's not because what happens in academia, what's supposed to happen is you become an expert at something. That's when I first get to South Africa and it's the first time I had to sign a contract. And they said the expert. And I'm looking around, who's the expert? What, what, the, what, what are they talking about? I'm no expert. I'm just, you know, I'm just a, I'm a contrarian renegade. <laughs> That's what, I'm an audio dramatist. There's no expertise in audio drama. You just do your thing. And if you if you can motivate people then to, to do some other stuff like that, then that's what it is, like a film, like a, like a film director. Anyway, so but the film academia, you know, they become experts, and then it's like painting themselves in the corner. Then you got a corner, and then there's a back door in back of them, and say, now to 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 go into my field, you got to go through me, 
I know everything. I studied everything before me, during me, and uh, probably after me too. I've got some insight. I got some divine insights. So therefore, you got to go through me. You know, I know it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they call me Doctor. Someone, well, you're a doctor of. I'm a doctor of this. Well, that I means. But everybody's coming to you for all these other. Um, they're talking about other things. Yeah, that's because I know there's so much. I can, I can, I can apply it to these other things. For whatever they're saying, right? Too bad, <laughs> because that model, uh, we, we've, 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 we've taken that model and actually applied it to a lot of things. So just because you're on TV talking, being a what we call a presenter. No, you're not a journalist. You're not a whatever. You are a present. You're an, you're an opinionator. And a lot of times you're opinionator. Your opinion in this field is, is pretty accurate. But then because you're in on the tell -eye vision, the tell a lie vision, right? Then you think you could talk about these other things that you have no idea. That there's more people, there's other people that know more than you. Let's put it that way. Because you ain't got enough time to know everything like that. You see what I'm saying? Okay. So, so this is what's happening these days. And so now what's exciting to me, and let me go back to the whole Kyrie thing, is that we're finding that the experts, the people that we look at as experts, well, maybe they don't know all the stuff that they think they know. Maybe they've captured something. You know, maybe they've, 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 they've been bogus about their stuff, you know? Like maybe these aren't the real people and they just hijacked the, the, the culture. Right? Maybe this aren't the, and they, so all the stuff. All the stuff is coming out. This is the importance of um, what I call elite troops. Or maybe I should talk about that tomorrow. But I think I will. So what I'm trying to say is what I'm trying to say, and not very successfully, perhaps, is that you know everybody is an expert. If you can dig into that rabbit hole, you have the time, the energy, you know, to, to, to dig in that rabbit hole. You know. And, um, and there's so much information out here because the internet or whatever, really, stay away from Wikipedia, by the way. There's so much information out here that you don't have to, if you find it, there's a herd mentality of going one way, you're saying, wait a second, where are they getting that stuff from? And you research and find it comes from this one source that's been lying, then it's your responsibility to find out, to check, to check. You, you're supposed to be fact checking. And I did hear that even, they're even saying things like, you know, uh, you know, uh, don't, uh, uh, don't read. Don't don't fact check this stuff. You know what I mean. Uh, it, trust the expert. Trust the scientist. And then years later, you find that the scientist has been been hiding stuff. You know, and putting their own agenda up. That's the way it goes, right? So anyway, so, so that's it. I just need to throw a little lay that out there because I'm, I'm doing I'm, I'm reading I'm reading to that. I'm, I'm, I'm reading my little Oklahoma book. I, I read a little past. Let me. No, I won't. Anyway, and maybe tomorrow I'll read. No, I won't read. I won't read. Instagram. You don't, you don't want reading Instagram. You want blah, 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 and, that, and that's fine. But I'm glad that um, I'm, I'm happy because everything happens for a reason. You know, yeah, I couldn't walk this morning because of the rain, which I needed a break. Maybe I just needed a break, right, right? And, and Kyrie, in that whole situation, galvanizing people, I just have this one thing to say, right? I am not interested in anything that anybody else has to say. I'm interested in, in, in what I call the elite troops, the people are really digging down deep into this stuff. I'm not interested in the, the sometimes, oh, I this opinion about and you and you're you're in the echo chamber repeating what, what you heard, what 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 this what this person said or that person said or that culture said or whatever it is. Because ultimately they're all pimping. You you know what I'm saying? Like like that 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 league that whatever it is that, that's trying to get Kyrie to bend the knee, right? There's a whole industry they got set up. You know, you got you got to go to so you got to go someplace in the Middle East. That means you got to spend some time in a hotel and and then the, and the trinkets or whatever have you. I, I suggested to Kyrie before. I said, "Oh, is that said? Well, when they make you, when they try to make you do something, when you do something against us, especially you know people who, who've been through the Middle Passage. You know, what I mean, my lineage, right? They said, oh, okay, you want to talk about Holocaust? Yeah. Let's go to Gory Island.'" And there's this museum, there's a museum, there's a spot in Gory Island. You can give them the tourist island. Then you learn something. I'll learn something from your culture. You come and learn something from my, my past culture. My, I'll learn something from your Holocaust. You learn something from my Holocaust. Boom. You see how that works? You know? And that's all you got to do. You know, there's other ways to do it. You don't have to react to them because if you react and you're in the backwash, again, you're in the backwash. 
and you don't need to be in somebody else's backwash. It's nasty. And they, ooh, they got germs that, you, that you're not used to. So you should you know, stay away from that, right? Create your own. And when they when, when they have to when you have they have to react to you, then you think things will change. Well, they're changing right now because black men. And that's like I said, I'm only interested in what black men have. The, I'm interested in what barbershop black men have to say. I'm talking about the barbershop that you can curse in. Not the barbershop that you have a cursing jar and you're in the Christian or whatever have you. No, I'm interested in real black men. I would say real, but I can't because I'm I'm not, you know, I'm, I have a certain regard for language and stuff like that. So I can't use certain words, but I really like, I really like certain people, what they're saying. So I'm, I'm with them, right? But you don't need a whole lot of people. You just need your little elite troops. Like I said, if you're from the real barbershop, I'm listening to you. If you up these up people, you got your little suit on and you got your, you get your little black card and you're driving your mobile, mo 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 you know? I ain't interested what you got to say because you got some other agenda. You you pimping the people, right? The people are still on the bottom, you know? If the downtrodden is still there, that means that you ain't not successful. Yeah, but I got this, I got that. You ain't successful. If the downtrodden still exists, you ain't successful. That's what I like to say. I mean, that's what I just said, all right? Okay, I'll check you all later. Enough of me ranting. I've been ranting for two days. I might have to rant tomorrow, too, so I don't know. But you might have to take some time off from me. <laughs> Put it that way. Okay, take care. Okay, so that's done. Uh, I think on Saturdays, maybe I should do a, a weekend review on Saturdays. Nah, that's too, that's too bogus. Uh, I'll put the the brother rants again. The brother rants rants again. There you go, Western Branch. Uh, add to oh, I know her. Add to series. I'm gonna put ADOS. 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 I do think I want to tag that brother. Oh, okay. Uh, tag. What's that? What's that brother's name? Uh, the comedian. Uh, E A N N the comedian guy. Okay, I can't find him right now. I have to look him up another time. Okay, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that alone. Okay, let us just go back. Let us just go back. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's go up there and share. <laughs> There's book broken athletes. <laughs> There's Shannon Sharp. But it is a brother. Uh, D D W A N N B at D W A N N B. The one I like that brother. Real brother. I want to hang out with real brothers, man. That's what I said. Okay, so that's it. So, um, so you understand what I'm trying to say? Be your own person. And all every, every if, if something's been going on for a while and they keep on insisting that you pay money and stuff like that, or you visit something, that means something. It means something. If you got to pay in this world, it's the world has been set up so you got to pay tribute, tribute me the money. To some entity. Well, why? <laughs> Set up another system. Produce justice. All right. I'll talk to you later. Got to go.